So most of our work is in plant genetics, uh, but right now it's the summertime and so we have maize growing in the field. Uh, we have some very unusual maize growing in the field right now. We're doing some work with uh, ancient maize, Tiacintes, and also some, uh, some other varieties of maize. Uh, but really we work on the overarching theme of epigenetics, uh, which is the study of chromosomal modifications that are inherited but don't change the nucleotide DNA sequence. And this was first detected very beautifully in maize uh, by Barbara McClintock, who was working with transposable elements. And we still work with transposable elements in maize and other plants because they're some of the best examples of this sort of epigenetic inheritance. We also work on some other clonal organisms. Uh, one that I'm very fond of is duckweed, the Lemnaceae. Uh, these are the fastest growing uh, flowering plants on earth and they have all sorts of potential applications in biofuels and remediation and, and actually as a, as a, as a novel uh, food crop. And uh, they reproduce clonally, so without meiosis. They grow in tanks in the greenhouse or more likely in the lab in flasks of water. So I think duckweed, for example, could, could really have a big impact, on, uh, especially on climate change. It, it loves CO2. It can absorb a lot more CO2 than most other plants and, and we're very excited about that.